Breonna Taylor's death threw LMPD under a federal microscope. Was it a botched raid or a bigger issue? As WDRB's Gilbert Corsi explains, that's what the feds will decide in this ongoing pattern and practices investigation. <laughs> Former LMPD officer pleaded guilty this afternoon. We've reported on it often. Two former LMPD officers have pleaded guilty. Louisville officers violating the laws they swore to uphold. Another former LMPD officer faces federal charges. Breaking promises to the public they swore to protect. It's three years probation for each of those three officers. Since 2019, at least nine have been convicted in federal court. Five more cases are pending, including those just charged for the raid that killed Breonna Taylor. Pattern or practice investigation into the police department is ongoing. Was it systemic? Does this police agency regularly violate the public's rights? Their acts, now part of a much deeper look into what goes on in LMPD. Our team has been on the ground conducting interviews with stakeholders, members of the police department, engaging in ride-alongs, uh, reviewing documents and data. The Justice Department launched a federal probe into Kentucky's largest police agency in April 2021, said to look back five years, investigating LMPD's use of force, stops, searches, seizures, whether the department discriminates and how it treats people with mental illness. So a total of about four meetings in all in 2021. Shamika Parrish Wright participated in DOJ interviews as the leader of the Kentucky Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression. People were getting these like pin the tail on the donkey charges. They were just throwing every charge on them to see what stuck. She focused on the LMPD clashes with protesters. <laughs> the summer of 2020. They wanted to know what it was like day to day for people. And as you know, I was arrested on bogus charges. And um, so I got to share about that experience and how they basically made everything up. And even though I was acquitted, it was important for me to share my story. The DOJ I mean, investigation Louisville, already Louisville. flushed out old wounds, like former LMPD officer Brian Wilson and Kurt Flynn, who pleaded guilty this year to driving by and throwing slushies at people on the street in 2018. No one wants to be under investigation by the Department of Justice. They're obviously here for a reason. LMPD wants to get ahead of the findings. The department received $17 million from the Louisville Metro Council for police reform. It includes money to launch an accountability and improvement bureau to focus on training, supervision, and management structure. What it's about is about leadership and it's about people and making sure that we're always on track with doing the right thing. These federal probes typically result in a consent decree, a contract for targeted specific improvements. LMPD's corruption runs so deep, it's, it's beyond the rogue officers. They actually do need more oversight from the federal level. It could be a big step for an embattled police department to regain public trust. Now, this review was expected to take six to 12 months, and now we are coming up on a year and a half. LMPD declined to comment today on the DOJ investigation. You may recall there is a separate patterns and practice investigation also centered in Louisville on fo and focused on how the state provides services to people with mental health issues. Reporting with photojournalist Jonathan McKemper, I'm Gilbert Corsi, WDRB News.